Hello everybody, Gizmatic here, and today I want to be talking about the bunkers in G Tunline, as well as the customization on them, how much they'll cost, and which ones you should buy in GTA Online. So in the GTA Online Gun Running DLC that came out today, Rockstar added in a quite a large number of new bunkers into GTA Online that you can purchase. Now to purchase these, you will want to go to the Maze Bank Foreclosure website, and you can sort it by bunkers or clubhouses. So as for the prices on them, they range anywhere from about $1.5 million dollars to about 2.4 million dollars and that is the base price there are also upgrades and the upgrades in total adds about like 1.2 to 1.3 million dollars extra if you go all out on them as for which bunker you should go with uh there's quite a large variety of them the most expensive one is sort of uh before the prison as you can see on screen here it's a good spot however my problem with it and why i didn't buy it I feel like it's going to be the most contested bunker uh, since, uh, you know, the, a large number of people are probably going to go for it because, you know, it is probably the best location. There's going to be so many people there that have bought it that I feel like it's going to be a bad location for a lot of people. I'd say that the two best locations, and this kind of depends on what you value more. Do you want a good location and do you want to be close to the city? and you're good on highway access and all that. And if that's you, I'd say go for the one furthest to the left. I think it's called the Chumash Bunker. It's on the Great Ocean Highway. Uh, it's good, it's close to Zancudo. It, you know, you have easy highway access to the city. It's actually a pretty good spot. However, if you don't care too much about location and you care more about being able to access Pegasus vehicles, then I'd say going for a uh, the Grand Sonora Desert Bunker is quite good. That's the one I went for because you're pretty close to the Sandy Shores Airport. There's a Pegasus vehicle spawn uh, right near there. So that's a pretty good spot. Another one that's actually quite good is up north uh, near Grapeseed. There's another one up there, uh, which is pretty close to the airport at Grapeseed. So go with whichever one you want. But of course, you can take my advice and uh, narrow down your choices. So as for the customization, you can change from three different bunker styles. Uh, the first one is this white color, next one is blue, and then the final one is yellow. I just went with the blue one, I think it looks better than the yellow to be honest. However, I don't know if this changes up too much. Um, you know, of course, you know, I can't compare it really, uh, but from the pictures, it only seems to change up the color really. So uh, just so you know, uh, you could honestly save some money there. Uh, about 200 grand or more. Next up is you can purchase the personal quarters. Now, if you want a spawn point in your bunker, I think you're gonna have to go with this one. If not, if you don't care about spawn points, or if you already have, you know, a biker clubhouse or you know some property near your bunker, you may not have to consider that because you could just spawn there and then transfer. Uh, but if you do want a spawn point at your bunker, then go with the personal quarters. That's how it worked with finance and felony. Next up is the shooting range. Now the shooting range is the most expensive upgrade easily. Um, it's about seven hundred forty thousand dollars. Or if you go with white targets, it's more. Uh, you know, eight hundred forty-five thousand. I would suggest don't go for it if you do not care about some of the upgrades. Now there are some upgrades with the gun range challenges. Now they are a little bit difficult of gun range challenges. However, you can get stuff like you know special hats, t-shirts, and hoodies. You can also get increased capacity on throwables depending on you know, how well you do in the missions you may want to go for that if you want you know all the unlocks but at the same time it's a lot of, it's a lot of money next up is the gun locker for one hundred seventy five thousand dollars this is actually quite a good price if you don't already own one if you don't own one in your biker business if you don't own one in your finance and felony office i'd say go for this However, to me, I, I probably wasted my money on this. I already have one in my office. I just wanted to go for it just to show you guys. But I guess if you want, you know, more locations for it, sure. But to me personally, I have never gone back and redone my weapon loadout because, well, I just have no reason to. Next up is transportation. Now, you can go with a Caddy 1 and a Caddy 2. Uh, I'd say, honestly, while the Caddy 2 may be faster, I'm not entirely sure. It's not that fast, uh, even then. And to be honest, your bunker isn't all that large. I mean, sure, the transportation is nice, but I'd say if you are going to go for the transportation, go for the Caddy 1. I feel like it would be easier to maneuver and, you know, you won't get stuck. 
everywhere. I'd say go with the Caddy 1. The Caddy 2 isn't bad and you are allowed to drive it, which is quite fun, but it's not that fast. It's not even that much faster than walk-in. And to be honest, I don't know if it's that great uh, to go out and purchase. So if you are struggling on cash, I'd say some of the upgrades that you may want to consider only is maybe the personal quarters. Uh, I'd say everything else is kind of, you could get rid of it. If you don't have a gun locker already, maybe go with that as well. But everything else for customization isn't all that important. So another thing to consider is if you are struggling on cash and if you don't have too much money, you may want to save some of your money uh, and don't go all out on your bunker so that you can purchase some of the upgrades for your business. These are kind of the same upgrades that you got with the biker business. And you can purchase upgrades that actually cost quite a bit of money, uh, about like almost $2 million in total. You can get you know, staff upgrade, security upgrade, equipment upgrade. You can get all that. So you really want to consider you know, getting those upgrades because let's say those are more useful than other you know, items that you can buy just off the bat. Another thing is you can also purchase your MOC, your mobile operations center. So consider that whenever you're buying as well. But yeah, should you buy a bunker in G Tone Line? I'd say yes if you have a lot of money. If you already have other businesses, I don't know entirely you know, how lucrative the money is going to be. I haven't done a selling job yet, but I will be making another video on you know, the actual you know, money aspect and how much money you can get from this once I get more information and more testing is done. Anyways, what are your thoughts on the bunkers in g Line? Do you like them? Do you not? And what advice do you have for people going out and buying new bunkers. But anyways, your thoughts on that in the comments. Hope you enjoyed. Feedback's those pressure. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ah, Mr. Exit. Just give me a sec. Should have just reversed. Not gonna miss these corridors. Okay, here we go.